Hello, my name is Paolo Coelho. I am the Leonard Linko Professor of Biomaterials and Biomimetics at NYU College of Dentistry. What drives the research here at NYU is always the curiosity of trying to make the current standard of medical care better. Believe it or not, we're trying to reconstruct all different types of tissues, not only do bone, but also reconstruct cartilage and any other soft tissue that is actually needed for them to actually do a better job on reconstructive surgery. First, there is an engineering component that is required to build these constructs. After that, we figure out whether those are biocompatible or not. Then once the material is biocompatible, we try to optimize, if at all possible, and if not, we try to maximize its properties. Through, of course, a lot of trial and error, a lot of research, we start the preclinical trials in order to see whether what we have developed actually does work or not. In New York City, you can literally recruit any given type of population for any type of clinical trial. You can target certain populations in order to do your research and your development and improve the library that you may develop for personalized medical care. This is not a standard biomaterials program because we don't need to go across the street if we need any sort of testing done, we have everything in house. So probably that's one of the reasons why we actually get things done so fast relative to other institutions. For example, once we implanted a material which for all that is in the literature shouldn't work at all, but we modified it a little bit and it turned out that that material worked very well. And now we're actually using this material to build and 3D print and engineer a cartilage. So we can actually then start the research, which is, you know, okay, it worked. Can we make it better? What are the limitations of this? How far can we go? And our data is truly indicating that not only the form is being reestablished, but the function as well. That is indicative that this bone is going to keep remodeling throughout the rest of the life of the individual and keep its form and function better than anything else that has been developed to date. So the results to date are absolutely fantastic and uh, they're almost unbelievable. I think we are the leaders when it comes to devices for surgical procedures. I don't think that any other institution is anywhere near us. This biomaterials program happens to be part of a dental school who is highly integrated with a medical school. The translational component that you end up getting at NYU is much larger than you would get elsewhere simply because of the proximity that you have with clinicians. That itself gives our students a sense of where those incredible things that they're doing on the bench top may end up actually going. So that is the experience that I would definitely say NYU students get more relative to any other students in a biomaterials program.